This is Lieber LTM1450 Mobile Crane by Ross and Mods on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map for this um, test demonstration. Um, a little bit of a fooling around with this crane uh, here. It is 51.82 megabytes to download, 19 slots on console, so not too bad. And um, yeah, it is massive. It is a massive piece of machinery, uh, quite easily the largest crane. Um, yeah, largest and tallest by far. Uh, it is extreme by any measure. So first of all, where do we find it? Tools and, nope, vehicles and miscellaneous. There it is. So $495,000 to purchase 677 horsepower, automatic transmission, 850 liters of fuel, and a nice 52 miles per hour top speed. So you'll get to the work site in a hurry, or at least faster than uh, pretty much any other crane or crane-like mod on uh, on uh, for consoles at least or at least cross play mods uh we have a choice of main colors we have the Lieber yellow and then every other color three grand for that design color is going to be let's make it green that bit there no charge for that and then rim color again uh, we have the Lieber gray or we can make it panther pink at three hundred dollars and that's it for options so all the fun stuff happens inside so let's get our help window on and let's hop in hop in get in oh you got to go apparently you got to go to the middle of the vehicle to get in it let's start it up right so let's take the uh, horn nice big solid horn so uh cruising around like this you have a couple of things you can do. R1, L1, L1 and R1, left stick left and right. You can open and close that door there. That's the operator door. And right stick up and down actually tilts that cab because, well, uh, we're, we're way out here for this one. And then we got an in cab. And here is the cab. Let's see if we can. There we go. So we're in the operator's cab here now, and you can understand why you may want to tilt this up like that in a moment. So here's the uh, one of the outside driver's views. Now I have another one over by the test track there, so we can uh, have a bit of fun with it later, but uh, there we go. This is actually centered on the vehicle itself. So we have a centered outside look. And this is just driving around. We haven't even opened it yet. Here is the in cab. In cab looks pretty cool. Hey, there's the uh, fuel gauge right over there. Interesting. And then we have, of course, the operator's uh, cab. And then we have actually a front which is actually, as a matter of fact, I do believe, yes, it is centered on the hook itself. So that will become uh, quite handy once we open it up. So, it uh, it's quite big. It takes a bit to get up to speed, but once it's going, it goes pretty good. Handling and turning radius is excellent. Um, you're not going to be tipping over or anything like that while you're driving, so everything's good there. So, what can you pick up with it? Well, literally anything that a... Um, pretty much it's a big bag hook. So what I mean by that is, uh, you know, the, uh, the hooks or the cranes or whatever that automatically hook to these big bags? Well, that's what this is. In addition to that, any of the containers by Hispano uh, Mods and A2 Studio, these are two examples, they will automatically hook up to those, so uh, that is good. And then there is one other thing that I do have, it's the, the Crane Traverse. 
that has a hook on it. A uh, big shout out to Mr. Sealy P for reminding me of this. I've, I used to have this always in my download and I, I just wasn't using it, but there it is. There may be others out there. So literally anything that's gonna attach to that, which is uh, basically a crane end, and anything that attaches automatically to these, so anything that works like a big bag, basically, and not, and not these, but these. Now we'll show you all that in a moment. Let's get back into our crane. Now the only thing I did notice is there is one thing. Um, you can't use a crane while you're driving around. So you can't pick up something and drive it somewhere. It's not going to happen because uh, you cannot operate the crane until you unfold it. And when you unfold it, this is what happens when you unfold it. The support legs go out, the wheels come off the ground, and uh, you're not going anywhere. So you're not driving anywhere, you are in operating mode now, which is fine because we are close to all the things I need to show you how they all work. L1, so now uh, just there is, there is one other thing that you need to be aware the l the folding and the picking up of things is the x button so it you could get um yeah it, you could get in trouble if uh if your finger slips off or well actually it is not even your finger if you're okay well we'll show you in a moment what i mean by that so we have l1 and right stick up and down and left and right that is your main operating so we have this view we have the in cab we have the operator cab and we have this this is actually very handy because you can scroll out and scroll in when centered on that which is not something you can always do with um these type of machines so r1 right stick left and right extends out that arm all the way well, let's say, we'll show you how far out, and it goes really, really far. I mean, really far out here, and we are way up here. So, uh, yes, th I don't think there's anything, that there's definitely nothing that goes higher that's that's for sure now what is really nice oh look at that see it's already see that attached lizard 20 foot now if i had my left left finger on the fold stabilizer now it's still going to pick up the lizard 20 foot but if it moves it just a little bit and i press the x button it's going to fold and i don't want it to fold now it's going to be pick up so watch this i'm going to pick up so even if you have your left L1 pressed, uh, you see that attach, it will, it will fold. So that's what I mean. So it's not. You have to left let go. <laughs> and that's what I was been kind of, that's, that's actually what I've been kind of fighting with. Um, so don't have your L1 pressed when you want to attach because it will fold. That's the one... I wished the fold, yeah. You see what I mean? Now if I press it, there we go. It's it's attached. And you still don't want to fold it because that's going to be bad. So don't have your L1 pressed if you want to disengage or if you're carrying something like this. So now we can, um, yeah, do whatever we want. R1 and right stick up and down raises and lowers that and extends and out and then l1 and r1 uh that is right stick left and right is that and what was the up and down uh oh yes that was the cab the cab adjustment and the left stick left and right is the cab door so <laughs> 
there r1 down and we can drop our container and now without pressing anything any l any bumper buttons press your x and it will let go and then back to l1 r1 up so containers which containers will this pick up now not all the sizes it will pick up let's go to the containers miscellaneous that's where the containers are going to be it will pick up the uh 20 foot 30 and 40 but not the 25 so if you go in here and you pick the 25 where is it 25 it will not pick up the 25 foot sizes so even sizes only 20 30 and 40 same with the as I just showed, showed the tank containers, only the 20, 30, and 40 sized containers. Right. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this one to... Now you want to get it right in the center. So you see that? It didn't recognize it until I was right centered, right in the middle of the container. And... Without pressing any bumper buttons, press your X, and there, <laughs> there, get, there it goes, and then uh, you can spin it around, and uh, you can uh, extend it out. How far can we go? So of course this is empty, but uh, you can see why. I can see why. Um, Uh, they don't want you driving around and being able to carry stuff. So, last couple of things here. That is the containers. There is, uh, I'm going to show you that, yes, you can actually just pick up the big bags. Not that, um, okay, come on, let's go over here. Um, not, I mean, it's a bit overkill, uh, definitely. Um, <laughs> picking up a... Uh, Come on, that's all about, come on, there we go. Let's go down here. There we go. Let's lower that. And we should be able to, there we go. So, yes, you can use this to pick up the uh, bags. Um, I, as I said, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit overkill but uh, that kind of just shows you the uh what it can do now let's uh let's go back center on this again let's let's spin this round here get this and come on there we go all right so this is the crane traverse what is why is this useful and that is because r1 and press your r3 we have straps so that means literally anything else anything that can be strapped down or can be well yeah anything that can be strapped down can be lifted with the use of this it uh, so it can get a little squirrely however uh, yes yeah, so let's oh no I didn't want to do that <laughs> right okay so uh, yeah 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 there we go R1 and press R3. There we go. So there's one more thing I want to try. Hold on. All right. So I tried the tractor first. It didn't quite. Um, yeah, but a vehicle. There we go. Straps engaged. L1 right stick up. And a yes. It's a little squirrely. But uh, we got a vehicle. We got the truck attached. So you can definitely have a little bit of fun with this, for sure. Let's see. Uh, it's not all that heavy, I'm sure. Whoops. Oh. It's having a little bit of fun at the end of that, isn't it? Right. So there we go. Right, so now I said we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, we have, it has a hitch as you uh, 
Looks like it has a, uh, I don't think that's a hitch. No, that's, uh, that's where the crane is supposed to attach, although it's not attached at the moment, which is odd. Um, it does have a pin hitch at the back of this, so you can tow any trailer that has a pin hitch. And we're going to go for a ride up this hill to see, uh, say perhaps you did want to, um, well, tow a trailer full of rocks, perhaps. And, um, yeah, you wanted to go up a hill with it. Uh, you can. So uh, that's where we are. We get to look at the uh, dashboard a little bit. Seems to be handling this hill so far so good. Six hundred and seventy-seven horsepower. That's nothing to sneeze at. We are starting to lose a little bit of speed going up this hill. Of course, it wasn't really meant to be towing trailers, but it has a trailer hitch, so away we go. It is odd that that uh, front hook is not attached to the front. Hmm. wonder if that happened when I hooked up the trailer. Oh, we're starting to lose speed now for sure. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. I know this, uh, well, depending on when you're watching this, this video kind of came out a little bit later in the day as uh, I was still catching up with uh, all the mods from the day before. But uh, here we are for future reference, and we did make it finally to the top of the, the uh, hill uh, with, uh, with a few miles per hour to spare, 10 miles per hour, not too bad. And as we go down the hill, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna test out the brakes, see how good it is with a big trailer pushing it behind, and hitting the binders now, and... Yeah, well, it's not too bad actually. For uh, not too bad for something this large, uh, plus a big old. Well, it's not all that big. That's the biggest pin hitch trailer I had that I could fill with rocks. But anyways, um, yeah, nice. Uh, I'm sure uh, lots of you will have fun. Um, as for the uh, Crane Traverse, I will put a link to that mod in the description. There may be others that work. I couldn't find one offhand. There is a couple of other type crane type uh, mods out there that have this type of attachment that may have some accessories that will work with this as well. So um, those might work, but uh, that's the only one I know for now for sure that you can see that that worked. Uh, there you go, the Lieber. LTM 1450 Mobile Crane by Ross and Mods on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.